Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. My name's Emily and today it is June 1st and you know what that means? This is the first day for my 10 day reading vlog and I'm really excited because I have finally decided what books I want to give a try for the first 10 days. Sorry, I'm just like getting organized here. Anyway, but I have my handy dandy notebook with all the things on it. So I wanted to uh, remind you guys that my viewer recommends for the month of June is Master of Sorrows by Justin T. Call. This is a pretty big book and it's a start to a new uh, high fantasy series and I am a little hesitant because I am reading A Blood and Fire like I'm 72% into A Blood and Fire so I'm hoping to finish it uh, by this weekend and I kind of want to like read all the books up to date in this series before I start that so my goal is to at least have this started by the end of the month so uh it's probably not going to be getting read during these first uh 10 days but I'm hoping that I can at least make a start on it uh this month so uh, here's to hoping um so the five envelopes that I had picked for the first 10 days were physical book new release adult, romance, and a mood read. So I have a couple books for each uh, that I would like to give a try. So obviously, like I said, I'm still reading um, of Blood and Fire, and I'm going to put up like a little screenshot of the synopsis here so that you guys can pause and read it if you are interested, but I'm actually really enjoying this book. Uh, last night I got to the part where the dragon was introduced, and it was just amazing, and I love it. I love the characters. I love the plot, the setting. I just love all of it. The only thing I don't understand is one of the main characters, Kaylin, we get a point of view from his sister, and I'm not really sure like what she's bringing to the table and why her point of views even necessary so I guess there is that but I am just loving everything and I just mm, love it all and I really hope that I'm going to be able to continue but for physical book I have two options so I do have the prequel novella to A Blood and Fire but I've heard but um it was recommended to me that I read this one after the first book I think I will enjoy it more that way. So I have this, literally it's only like 86 pages, so definitely could fly through this one. So that one's an option. And another option is You Let Me In by Camilla Bruce. I am doing a video that's featuring this and a bunch of other different books. So I would like to get to this one. It's really short, it's only 252 books and it's a mystery thriller. So I really fly through these. Um, If you wanna know what it's about, you can pause that and read it. So there's that. But I got this for Christmas from my eldest daughter. So I'd really like to get to this one. Um, I haven't been reading physically really hardly at all. So it would be great to get this one done, especially since it was a gift from my daughter. So this one's definitely up there. So the next is new release. I only have one book down for that. And that is No Heart for a Thief. I can't remember these the author's name, I'm so sorry, but the picture will be here and I will also put up a screenshot of what this book is about. And this one is actually a book for uh, SPF BO9. I'm not gonna go all out like I really wanted to last year and didn't end up doing, but I'm really excited to get this one. I've heard really good things about it and it was only 99 cents on uh, Kindle. So I picked it up, sounded really good. I really enjoy the cover and I'm really excited to get to this one. Next, I have Adult and again, I only have one book down for this, but some of these books can count for multiple things so I'm just rolling with it and this one I have Jar of Hearts by Jennifer Hillier. Again it is a book I'm doing in the same video as this one so I will put the picture here and then a screenshot of the synopsis. You get it by now. Um, really excited. I've heard really good things about this book and this author so I'm really excited to get to this and hopefully I enjoy it. Okay, so the next prompt was romance, and I have two books for this. Uh, the first one being Stolen by a Sinner, which is the third book in the Sinner series. The first one being Taken by a Sinner, and then the second one I just finished at the end of May, which was Owned by a Sinner. I am just loving the series. It is a dark mafia series, but they're really quick and easy to read, even though they're over 400 pages each. I am flying through it. I read the first one for 72 hours in the smut den so if you want to see my thoughts on that you can go watch that video but I am super excited to get to this one because they're super easy to fly through and the other one is a fantasy romance and that is Blood of Desiderium. I am not pronouncing that right. Um, pictures here 
synopsis will be here just like all the others <laughs> uh but this one has a really beautiful cover and i love how dark it is and how much the color and then like the darkness and then the girl oh, it just looks so amazing i absolutely love it and i have been really interested in this one and i think it's finally time to give it a chance so i'm hoping that this one will be read in these first 10 days and then the last prompt that i had it was mood read so i just put two random books down but literally any of these books can count for this obviously so i have of darkness and light which is the second book in the of blood and fire series by ryan cahill um i'm hoping that uh, as long as i am like really in the mood for it that maybe i'll start and continue it i don't know that i'd finish it within these 10 days but i'm hoping that i can at least start it and work my way through so that i'm consistently keeping up with the series and i won't forget anything so there's that one and i do have the audiobook for this one so i'm really excited because this book is 800 pages and I need help with the audiobook plus the audiobook for the first one is really good so I'm having a great time and I just want to keep having a great time and see what's happening with these characters. The other book that I have as an option for mood read is Kill River. This has the most like campy cheesy cover ever but it sounds so good and I have heard a lot of good things about this. I believe it's like a summer camp slash slasher but like there's a water park and they're getting like hunted one by one or whatever I don't know but I'm really excited for it sounds really good and I'm just excited for all these I wanted to wait till today on the first to kind of pick out some books that I'm really in the mood for and just use these 10 days to try and get to them all and what I found was that not including Master of Sorrows or what's left in Of Blood and Fire but with all of these combined it is 3,203 pages and divide that by the 10 days and I would have to read 320 pages a day. Now I know what you're thinking, not possible. I mean it is possible but will I do that? Probably not. So there's going to be a couple books that I won't get to and there's like I said of darkness and light. I might only get like 100 pages into it this week just to get it started. Um, so yeah, and then the romance books are usually pretty easy to get to and mystery thrillers and horrors are usually really easy to fly through. So as long as they're holding my attention. So I guess we'll see. Um, I'm kind of challenging myself. I want to see how many I can read in these 10 days and see how that goes. So that is my check-in, I guess, for June 1st. I'm really excited to see how this vlog goes. So wish me luck and I will check back in with you when I have decided to either finish my one book or start another one. So wish me luck. like a hot mess you know what whatever it's almost 90 degrees out and I can't be bothered I'm sitting in my room today with uh the air conditioner on and two fans I turned them off just for you guys so I could update this video but I have some time where there's not a bunch of kids running around because my uh along with my two kids my two nieces are here um also for the summer during the weeks so my mom took my youngest daughter and my two nieces and went to the pool so my oldest daughter's doing her own thing. So we're all pretty quiet. We're all just relaxing. And I just wanted to update this vlog. It is June 2nd and I have finished my first book and it counted for the romance prompt. No shocker there that that was the first one I completed. But I read Stolen by a Sinner by Michelle Hurd. I absolutely love this book. It's probably my favorite so far out of the series. I read the first book for 72 Hours in a Smut Den and I really enjoyed it. And I read the second one before the end of May and it was okay. It wasn't my favorite out of them. I gave it four stars. I gave the first one five stars and then I just gave this one five stars. So this one we're following Laura and Gabriel and Laura works for the head of the Polish mafia and he's very horrible to his workers and... Uh, he keeps bullets with their names carved into them for each of his workers, even his guards and stuff. 
and when he's ready to kill them or if he just wants to get rid of them he uses those bullets with their names on them to get rid of them and so Lara works for him and when she goes to get food for him, she ends up running into Gabriel and he causes her to be late because she spills the food all over and, uh, well, let's just say nothing good happens to her after that. Um, and Gabriel, unknowingly to her and to him, he is trying to prepare himself and he's getting ready to try and kill the Polish mafia leader who she works for. And, and it just kind of goes from there. And I just love this. It was so good and it just had me tearing up like throughout like the whole book and they really don't get to any like lovey-dovey time until like after 50% but the build-up to it is just so good and I didn't have any issues like feeling bored or anything like it was just so good the amount of trauma that Laura has gone through and has to work through I really appreciated seeing that and how slowly the author built up the relationship between everyone in Gabriel's household trying to uh, help Laura adapt to her new environment. Like, I just really love this book. So good. Five out of five stars. Highly recommend the series. You can read them out of order. Um, you really don't get any spoilers for any of the other ones, sort of. Um, just like little tiny things maybe, but other than that, it's really good. Highly recommend the series. So, so good. It's a mafia series. The first one we follow Greek mafia. Then we have the Irish mafia. This one was Turkish. The next one, I don't remember what the next one is, but then we have the fifth one, which I'm super excited for, which is Victor's book. And he is um, the head of the Bratva, which is like Russian, I think, mafia. Um, I can't remember what Luca is. I want to say he's kind of towards the Russian mafia too, maybe. I don't know, but I'm super excited to continue on with the series. It's so hard to not just immediately jump into the next one, but I think it helped um, focusing on some other things before I jumped into this next book. So anyway, I did also read to 80% last night of, of Blood and Fire by Ryan Cahill. Really enjoying this. I think I only have like five chapters left. So fingers crossed that I can finish that today. Um, I just don't want it to end. It's just so good. And I love the dragon. I love the characters and I love the story and the plot and the magic. And I'm really excited to see where this is gonna go. So my plans for today are to focus on Of Blood and Fire. Now that I've finished Stolen by a Sinner, I now have four prompts left that I need to uh, finish, but A Blood and Fire does not count for any. But if I finish that one, I could read The Fall by Ryan Cahill, which is the prequel, but I'm going to be reading it after I finish the first one. And this could count for a physical book, and it's only 86 pages, so I could get through this pretty quickly. So there is that. But I also have some uh, like mystery thrillers or horrors that I could get to. So I could either get to You Let Me In, which is another physical book. I could get to Jar of Hearts or even Kill River. So ooh, I kind of want to save Kill River for like going to our like water park uh, and rides and stuff one of these days and I kind of want to like get b-roll of that and like put it in as I'm like reading this book so I think that would be really fun so I'm not sure about Kill River right now although it is like 350 pages so maybe I could get it started and then we'd go somewhere I don't know we'll have to wait and see um I'm kind of leaning though for some kind of mystery thrillerness before I jump into another fantasy because I do really want to get to No Heart for a Thief but I want to finish A Blood and Fire first and I kind of even want to finish the fall before that. So I'm not ready. So I'm not really sure if I want to use this as my physical book or not. But I do have Jar of Hearts on here. And it's only like 300 pages. And I heard that it's fast paced and really good. So I think once I finish A Blood and Fire, I will go back and forth between the fall and Jar of Hearts. Hopefully. So I'm just trying to keep going on this and hopefully I can finish all these prompts before we get to day 10 and if I finish all these before we get to day 10 I'm just gonna like mood read until we have to pick new prompts I think that's gonna work out the best for me and maybe I could even get to some of these that I have doubled up on for each of these but I am really excited I feel really happy about my reading right now so we're just gonna roll with it and yeah, I will let you guys know when I have something else to update on. Okay, 
Okay, so it's 11 o'clock, same spot, same clothes, uh, different time. But I just wanted to let you know that I finished A Blood and Fire, five out of five stars, new favorite series. Absolutely loved it, loved the characters, the story, the plot, the uh, magic, and just the relationships and the friendships in it, and the world building, and the dragon. Oh my god, the dragon is like one of my favorite parts. Like once it's introduced, I'm just literally squealed. I was like so excited. And then right after that, I read The Fall by Ryan Cahill. Uh, again, another five stars. Even though the events of this happened before the first book, you could still feel it. You could still really feel like the emotions that came with what happened in here. And you kind of already know going into this, if you read the first book first, what pretty much went down with this but not the whole story and these characters point of views so i'm just going to read you the quick little thing on the back it says the order have watched over the continent of Aferia for thousands of years but there are those who believe the order has had its day that it is corrupt indulgent and deceitful that it is ready to fall the city of ilnain is on fire dragons fill the sky traders fill the streets i really enjoyed this i wouldn't say it's above the first book because obviously it's like more fleshed out and whatnot but like this one I, 86 pages and this author did a great job of making you really feel for the characters and the losses and the things that have just happened in this and it makes me want to know what happened to some of these characters at the end like I just I can't wait to get into the next book I think it's of darkness and light uh, but the the next one is like 800 something pages and then the one after that's like 1400 pages and I'm just like I really want to get into the next one but I'm like I think I just need to give myself some time to read something else and then jump back into that one because otherwise I'll just only read that one and you know we, we can't just keep doing that. So in reading The Fall I have completed another prompt and that is for a physical book. I am so happy that I have a book. I am so happy that I have finished two of the five proms and it is only day two and I'm really excited. I even watched two different movies today on Netflix. So I watched We Are The Millers or We Are The Millers. Super funny. Uh, <laughs> it's hilarious and it's like this ragtag group of people who kind of turn into a found family and they're all getting ready to smuggle some uh, drugs back up you know into the U.S. and it's just it's hilarious the uh, things that they go through and the things that happen the people they run into and they have to like pretend to be this happy family oh I love it so good it's an older movie but if you have Netflix I highly recommend this one the other one I watched is actually fairly new on Netflix it's called Missing and I loved this this was so good the mystery just like kept me engaged the whole time not to mention it's all done through like social media things and like on your phone like apps and everything and I just thought it was so much fun. I've seen other movies like this but this one just did it so well and I absolutely loved it. I uh, highly recommend both these movies. If you want a good laugh then we're the Millers. If you want to watch something with a good mystery that's going to keep you engaged uh, then Missing. I really enjoyed that and today I was working on this little bookmark uh, for Outer Banks. I'm almost done. It the color, I think, for the pattern is normally pink, but I decided to go with orange, and it's got the little flowers, and I'm almost done, uh, but I need to get more thread to put on here, but I'm really excited about that. I thought I'd show you guys some of the stuff I'm working on. Uh, today's just been a hot mess, lazy kind of day, because it was just way too hot. I, I hate summer. I hate it. I hate the heat. I hate hot weather. I can't stand it. I'm so happy that it's only here for a short time, and then we can get back into fall, and winter and the beginnings of spring when it's still cool because I am not a hot weather person I I mm -mm, no no thank you ma'am I absolutely not so uh, with that said uh, I'm going to be turning my air conditioner back on getting ready for bed and I might start another book although maybe I'll hold off till tomorrow but uh, so far I have new release adult and a mood read left and for new release I had had no Heart for a Thief, Adult, I had put down Jar of Hearts. For Mood Read, I put Of Darkness and Light or Kill River. Um, honestly, for Mood Read, anything can count. Obviously, it's a Mood Read, duh. But um, <laughs> I can choose to read any of these books for it or I could just pick something else up. I am kind of 
really wanting to pick up the next Sinners book, which is Chosen by a Sinner, I think it is. But I'm really excited to see the last two stories because I've kind of been waiting for him. It's Luca and, and and he is part of the Italian Mafia. I figured it out. And then Victor for the fifth, for the fifth book is the Russian Mafia. So I kind of just want to jump right into that one because they're such quick reads. So I could potentially do that for mood read or I could do a mystery thriller or a horror or another fantasy. But that has been everything I've been doing today, reading, watching movies, trying to stay cool and stay out of the heat and uh, filming some updates for you guys and just hanging out because that is what I do during hot days. Anyway, I guess I will see you guys in the next check-in uh, that will hopefully be sometime tomorrow and maybe I'll look a little more presentable, but no guarantees. It is Saturday, June 3rd. I finished my technically, I guess, fourth book, but really third book for the month so far, and that was Jar of Hearts by Jennifer Hillier. I started it last night, and then I got a couple chapters in and then decided I wanted to get the audiobook, so I used a credit for that on Audible, and I listened to the whole thing today. Uh, I really enjoyed it. Um, we're following kind of two point of views. We're following Geo or Georgina, I guess, and Kaiser, and uh, like 14 years ago, this girl went missing, and now suddenly her bones and remains have been found, and the first chapter kind of takes place in like this courtroom setting, and we find out that Geo and her ex-boyfriend from back then are responsible for what happened to her best friend Angela, and it kind of just goes from there, and Geo goes to jail, Calvin goes to jail, and then things just take off from there, and you start to find out that there's like a lot more going on than what you are led to believe at the beginning. And I really enjoyed it. I don't want to go over too much more because I'm also doing another video that this book is going to be a part of. So that's where I'm going to leave it at here for now. Um, I did enjoy it. I'm not going to give you a star rating right now though. Just, just know that I did enjoy it. And that is three out of five prompts that I have completed so far and it's only the third and I still have the the tenth so I've got like seven days left it's already like five o'clock on Saturday I slept in till noon it was really nice <laughs> and yeah so just been kind of chilling out I did finish my Outer Banks bookmark um I started working on another one it's like the ocean a little bit it's like when the tide comes in and it runs up the sand like it's kind of like that it's in my room though, so I don't have it for you. Um, so I'm not sure what I want to pick next. I just have new release and mood read left. So for new release, obviously, no heart for a thief. I did read like the first like paragraph or whatever of that last night because I was trying to see what I was in the mood for. And it actually was pretty good. So I think I'm going to start working on that one. Um, and then mood read, I guess it'll just be whatever I'm in the mood to read. It could be of darkness and light, could be Kill River, or it could be, uh, what is it, like, chosen by the sinner, <laughs> or by a sinner. Uh, one of those books. Anyway, so that was all I have to update you. I know that today's update is kind of short. I don't know if I'll update you again today but if not then you'll see another clip tomorrow but that was all that i have been doing today it is very hot and humid and i am just suffering so it is what it is so i will see you in the next clip this is just going to be a quick update and to let you guys know that it is i think like the 4th of june now i did not read anything yesterday i ended up having to take my youngest to the er she had a bad temperature and she just wasn't feeling that great. So we took her to the ER and she's she's okay. We're just uh, watching her and stuff. So there's that. And then I slept in today because I was up really late waiting to give her her next dose of medicine. So I really didn't do anything. Um, I finished another bookmark and I started another one. <laughs> I've been watching Netflix and hanging out. And, and then my mom, uh, a few weeks ago, she went into my daughter's room and slipped on something and her knee kind of popped. So, uh, she's kind of just been dealing with that. Anyway, and and then today she went to look up in our cupboard and she went to stand up on a chair and it popped and it immediately started hurting and she could barely walk on it and sitting down and standing up was just miserable. So I told her to go to the ER. So that is where she's at now. 
and uh, my oldest daughter is about to come home soon, so I'm just kind of waiting for her, and I don't know what I'll do next. I need to shower and just, just relax. <laughs> uh, but I don't know that any reading will get done today. Uh, again, I only have two prompts left, so today just might be a laid-back day, and that'll be it. So this is my update for that. Also, apologize for the cars going by. Okay, so it's June 6th. I am currently uh, an hour away from home because I had to bring my grandma to a doctor's appointment. Um, I did not uh, I did not film anything yesterday because yesterday was kind of a shit show, if we're honest. Uh, everyone was just kind of done with the day. I was done with the day. I was tired. My kid is still sick. My mom's leg is still hurt. And I, both my nieces were home and I just couldn't be bothered. But I did read. I read an entire book. I read, I can't remember the title. I want to say Chosen by the Sinner. Is that right? We have Taken, Stole, Owned, Stolen. Yeah, Chosen by the Sinner. So yesterday I read the entirety of Chosen by a Sinner. And this one's following Luca and... Maria and Luca's the head of the Italian mafia and Maria is the daughter of someone from the Russian mafia or whatever and one night they go to Vegas for her birthday and one thing leads to another she ends up getting drunk and they end up married in Vegas so it kind of just starts off from there I really enjoyed this for the most part it wasn't my favorite um I can't say anything without there being spoilers, but this one was definitely about the same, maybe a little bit more than the second book in this series, but definitely not as good as the third book. I really enjoyed Luca and Maria as characters. I liked their dynamic and I liked that Maria was a little more badass than some of the female characters in these books um, because she has kind of grown up in this lifestyle and yeah that's really all I have to say about this book. I'm super excited because the next book is Victor's book and I've been waiting for Victor and Rosalie I think her name is. I've been waiting for them. So a part of me just wants to jump right into that but I'm not going to. Um, I did also start No Heart for a Thief. I got 25% of the way into it. I really don't know how to explain it without doing it justice but um, we're following Kalo, I think that's how you pronounce his name, and we're also following Tayan. So Kalo ends up coming into contact with Taylan as she's being uh, chased in these woods by these guards, and uh, he kind of helps her, and you find out that her parents were killed, and she's all alone, and she just wants revenge, so Kalo is trying to teach her how to use the magic they both have and how to be patient and he in turn is also telling his story and he's hoping that in training her and in teaching her about his story that she will change her mind and not want vengeance but she is just so enraged that he is just hiding away from helping their people and it's just I don't know it's so good I'm not doing any justice by the synopsis that I'm giving you, but I am really enjoying it. I was really hooked by some of the, the quotes in here. I'm on my phone and the book's on my phone, so I really can't look. I mean, yeah, I can't look. So maybe I'll try and like write it down and let you guys know what some of my favorite quotes have been so far, but I really enjoy the writing. The writing is easy to get through. Um, obviously some of the names and stuff are a little hard to pronounce, so they do slow me down sometimes, but other than that, I'm enjoying my time. I'm enjoying getting to see Kayla's backstory because at the beginning, when you first get into it, you're kind of like, okay, there's definitely a story here with this guy. And I'm glad that we're getting it because I felt like we were missing out on something. And I enjoy Taylin as a character. She's 14 years old. She's lost her family and all she wants is revenge. And so I'm just, everything about this book is so good so far. I'm really enjoying it. And I just can't wait to keep reading more. I'm trying to do about 100 pages a day. I did 100 pages yesterday, so I'm hoping I can read another 100 pages today, which amounts out to like nine chapters. 
but I don't think I'm gonna do it while I'm out with my grandma. They're pretty long chapters, um, so I don't want to be stuck in the middle of one. I feel like this is one you really need to pay attention to, and I want to give it my full attention and give it uh, its best shot at getting a five stars from me, so I'm super excited. Also, this is one of the SPFBO books that are in uh, this year's round nine, so I'm excited to get to this one. And I believe, I'm not sure if it still is, but it was only 99 cents on Kindle. So I guess highly recommend checking this one out if it at all sounds interesting to you. Uh, I'm just waiting for my grandma to get out of her appointment. And then I think we're going to go get something to eat. I'm starving. I didn't eat breakfast. And then we're going to go head to Target. So I don't know if I'll get anything at Target or not. Uh, I think that was everything. I told you guys last time I finished another bookmark, but I started another one. So... I started this one. It's got little waves and flowers. Sorry about the string, but I'm working on that one while I'm sitting here. And yeah, I figured I would update you guys since I was sitting in the car. It's a different location, so it works out. So yeah, that's my update, and I will hopefully get some B-roll. If not, then you'll just see me in the next update. Just got out of the shower. It's almost 11 o'clock at night. I did not read any of No Heart for a Thief, um, but I did start um, Captured by a Sinner. I was just too intrigued. I got 10% in and I've been watching Marvel movies, so I'm making my way through the timeline. I just couldn't stop myself, but I had a good time earlier with my grandmother. We did get Chick-fil-A for lunch. It was yummy. We went to Target. I didn't get any books. I did get... Um, couple stationary things but that was it then we came home and I literally have been doing nothing I've just been tired I've been hanging out with my family my daughter's feeling better and I'm just I'm just happy for the moment so we're just gonna take that and go with it so uh hopefully tomorrow will be a better reading day but we will see June 9th so it's Friday um I don't think I've uh filmed in the past two days to update you guys anything but there was really nothing to update so the last thing I think I showed you guys in some b-roll was some outside footage or whatever and that was when I took my daughter to the eye doctor um but that was it it's been pretty uh smoky here and so we haven't been going outside recently but it seems to be a little better today so we'll see not sure that we're gonna be doing anything uh all the kids are here so it's just been hectic but you really didn't miss anything the past two days because i hadn't read anything um except for last night i read i think like two chapters into captured by a sinner which is my kind of mood read um second mood read of the week and then I did get another 17% into No Heart for a Thief which I'm at 42% now so I'm making way. I still have today and tomorrow to finish that. If I don't I'm not going to count it as like a loss because I will probably be over halfway through so I just want to take my time with it. I want to pay attention and see like what's going on but I am really enjoying like the world building and the way we're learning the magic and we even have like storytelling aspect in here because Kalo, who is the main male character, is telling the main female character, Tayan, his story 
in hopes to encourage her from not wanting vengeance and I am just really interested in both stories going on. I think it's very interesting. I'm really enjoying my time with this. I think I haven't been picking it up for a few days because I feel like this is a book that on the outside I'm like oh you know I really don't want to pick it up right now but once I get into it I'm really enjoying it. So it's just one of those things I think because it's an adult fantasy book so I'm just working through it. But I wanted to update you. So for so I had my five picks at the beginning of the week. I know I could do this tomorrow, but um, I kind of just want to do this today because my hair looks nice and, and I just feel like it. So anyway, so I had number 34, Envelope, which was a physical book for that one. I did read, oh, I think I put it away. I, I read The Fall by Ryan Cahill. Uh, and then for number three, Envelope uh, is a new release and I'm currently reading No Heart for a Thief. Really enjoying it. Number 40 envelope, I got adult, and for this one I read Jar of Hearts. Uh, number 21 envelope, I got romance, I read Stolen by a Sinner. And number 38, which was a mood read, I, I read Chosen by a Sinner. <clears throat> and I'm also currently reading Captured by a Sinner. And I'm really enjoying the books I've read this week. I think it was definitely a success in these past almost 10 days. I've had some really good books, and I also did finish um, Of Blood and Fire by Ryan Kale, so I did do that one too. So I've had a pretty good reading 10 days, reading week. I'm just gonna call it a week or whatever, but um, I'm really happy with how this is going. I like holding myself accountable for these 10 days and vlogging, even though some days I'm not gonna vlog, which is fine. This video is already gonna be long enough, I'm sure. Uh, but yeah, so I thought as a treat for you and I, we would, uh, pick the next five for next week. Cause I feel like I need a couple days to think about what I want to read for some of these prompts. So originally I was just going to do it at the beginning of next week's vlog, but I kind of just need to know. So we are going to pick the cards that I have already gotten are over here. Um, they will not be in here. So uh, if I get that number, I'll just have to skip it. So I'm not sure what I'm going to be in the mood for the next 10 days. So again, you'll probably have to wait till the beginning of the next vlog to see what I will be reading. But let's get into these next five ones. Echo, give me a random number between 1 and 40. Here's a number between 1 and 40. It's 22. 22. Oh, it is a reddish pink so let's see what that is oh my god 500 plus pages okay i mean i'm not i'm not mad about it uh i have plenty of books that are over 500 pages so it's it's not that big of a deal okay i'm trying to think like i know i want to read is it of darkness and light which is like 800 pages so i could do that um, I'm sure there's some fantasy romance that's over 500 pages. Uh, I'll have to think about it. Hmm. That one, that one's definitely gonna have to be a mood read kind of thing. Anyway, number two, Echo. Give me a random number between one and 40. Here's a number between one and 40. It's eight. Eight. And eight is green. Okay. Eight. Let's see what it is. Ooh. Ugh. Owned for more than three years. Ooh. I don't like this one. I mean, obviously I got these books years ago because I wanted to read them. I just haven't read them. But what is it going to be? I do get a lot of my books from Amazon because I don't really have any really close bookstores. Um to me and if I'm gonna drive an hour I'm gonna do other things too so I really don't go that far um ooh. so I'll have to look on my Amazon I can go back and see three years ago what I got plus it can be older than that too so I should have some options will I be happy about them though probably not but what so it would be 2020 oh what a rough year <laughs> Uh, 
I should be able to find something. Am I happy about this? Absolutely not. <laughs> but it'll help me get to a book that I've had for a while. And who knows, maybe I'll find a gem that I forgot about. Okay, number three. Echo, give me a random number between one and 40. Here's a number between one and 40. It's 24. 24. Ooh, an orange. Okay, so far we've got like this reddish color, green color, and an orange one. So 24 is going to be color randomized. Well, a random color generator. Okay, I wonder if I can do that on my device here. Hmm. I'm, I'm hesitant to try. Oh. <laughs> I guess we'll try and hope for the best. I hope it's something good though. What if it gives me brown? I don't think I have any brown books. Actually, I take that back. I do. Anyway. Echo. Give me a random color. Here is a color. Pumpkin. Pumpkin? Very funny. Pumpkin. <laughs> okay, an orange book. I don't... I'm looking, and I see the Poppy War. Obviously, Illuminate, but I've already read that. Um, Aurora Burning, I've already read that. Iron Widow, I've already read that. <clears throat> I, I do not like this. Pride of the Orange Tree, I have not read, but I don't think I want to read that one either. I'm going to have to look in my Kindle when I'm done with this. Oh my god. Pumpkin. Very, very funny. Orange, pumpkin, get it. <sighs> Echo. Give me a random number between 1 and 40. Here's a number between 1 and 40. It's 30. Green. Another green. Should I be worried? I feel a little worried now. Cozy. Hmm. You know, this is actually perfect because I have some cozy mysteries out from the library and I've been trying to figure out where I can read them at. So this will definitely work because I have Dial A for Aunties and I have Finley Donovan as Killing It. So it will most likely be one of those two. I also have um, Death by Dumpling I really want to read, so maybe I can make a reading vlog out of that. I don't know. We'll see. But cozy, number 30. Okay, we're going to go for our last one. I'm not sure how I feel about this round, but we'll make it work. Echo, give me a random number between 1 and 40. Here's a number between 1 and 40. It's 28. 28? Another green. We're just getting all the greens. It's like Christmas down here. <laughs> 28. Please be good. Ooh, horror. That's definitely nice. I do need to read some horror. So, I could read Kill River since I didn't get to it this past week. I could do that. So, maybe, maybe that's what I'll read for horror. Or maybe I'll read something else. Okay, so... To recap, the first poll was number 22, and I got 500 plus pages. The second poll was number 8, and that was owned for more than three years. Not happy about this one, honestly. I mean, I could be wrong and absolutely love this prompt, but like right now, my feelings toward it are absolutely nothing. <laughs> then we got number 24, which was a color randomized. I don't know why I worded it that way, but a random color generator, which I asked my device and it gave us pumpkin. So orange. And I thought that was funny because this is orange. So whatever, but, uh, I will have to see what kind of book I can find. It'll probably be a Kindle book. So you'll just have to wait till next week to find out. Anyway, number 30, cozy. Like I said, I've got Dial A for aunties. I've got Finley Donovan is killing it. And I've got Death by Dumpling that I really want to read. So plenty of options for that. And then of course, the last one, 28, was horror. And for this, I may or may not read Kill River for this. We will see. But I do, but I am going to have a 500 page book on here, which it's not that big of a deal, but like, 
I gotta be careful about the books I pick because I'm only giving myself 10 days to read it. Not to mention if I don't finish No Heart for a Thief, I will be adding whatever's left of that book on to the following week. So, man, why do I do this to myself? So the rest are going to stay in my Tears of My Enemies jar. We're dwindling it down. There's hardly any green left, I feel like, but I'm kind of hoping maybe next time we'll get some purple because we haven't really gotten any purple. Not that it matters because they're all random prompts in here, but uh, yeah. So that's, that's the color palette we're working with. Some red, orange, and lots of green. While we're here, I figured I'll just show you some fun bookmarks I made while we did this vlog. So you've already seen the Outer Banks one. Cute. And I did this one. I'm not sure if you'll be able to tell what it is, but it's like the ocean and then the sand and some starfish. It's very hard to see some of the things, but there's that. And then this one I just finished a couple days ago. I've got the waves and some flowers. It looks pretty summery. So I've been wanting to do some summer bookmarks. So here they are. My goal is to like create a like bunch of them so that maybe I can start selling them on Etsy. So that's what I'm doing right now. I'm just creating a whole bunch um, and I'm really enjoying it. So, so far I've made three of these this week. Um, it helps that these two are shorter. The longer they get, the longer they take, obviously. And I have some plans for the next ones I'm going to be doing. So I guess I'll be showing you those in next week's vlog. But again, I have today and tomorrow. So I'm hoping, I don't mind if I don't finish Captured by a Sinner because that one's really quick and easy. I'm not too worried about that one. It's no heart for a thief that I'm worried about. I'm afraid that I'm not going to be able to finish it before the end of the day on the 10th. But I don't want to stress out about it because I can just finish it the following week. I just want to take my time with it. I don't want to be rushing because I'm giving myself 10 days to finish the five prompts. I think I'm doing a hell of a good job because I've read almost all of them. I've started the last prompt and I don't know. I'm just proud of myself. I'm super excited that these are going... The way I really wanted them and I'm hoping that I've articulated my thoughts about these books as I've gone along with them. So I believe that is everything and I guess I will talk to you either later or tomorrow. Um, oh I've also got my uh let's see see my whoop. I've also got my um rainbow shirt tie-dye shirt on <laughs> so I figured I'd wear it for one of these updates in June so it's perfect so uh I will see you in the next clip Happy June 10th and the last day of this reading vlog. Um, I would say that this reading vlog was very successful. I did not finish No Heart for a Thief and I did not finish Capture by a Sinner. Um, <laughs> so I didn't really read anything yesterday and today was my mom's birthday. We had uh, ice cream cake and pizza with my grandma over, my two kids and my mom. And then we went to an amusement park and spent the rest of the day there. And it is, I think, almost 8 o'clock. I'm going to get a shower because I feel gross. I hate sunscreen. And I can just feel it layered on me. And I hate it. And my feet are tired. We walked all over. And the kids went swimming in the water park area after we rode the rides. And I sat and watched from afar from one of the chairs. So it's been a long day. And did not read anything. Not sure if I'll read any more. Um, so I think that's the end of this vlog. So... To recap, I read a physical book, which was The Fall by Ryan Cahill. I started uh, my new release book, which was No Heart for a Thief. Um, the author name will be on the picture of the book. I had a adult book, which I read Jar of Hearts by Jennifer Hillier. I had a romance book, which I read Chosen by a Sinner by Michelle Hurd. 
And then I had a mood read, which I used to read, what did I use to read that? Maybe it was, I can't remember. I don't know. You'll see it here. You'll see the order. I may have gotten the last one wrong. Anyway, this week was a success. I had some really good reads. Um, I think the fall I gave five stars. I did also finish A Blood and Fire, which I gave five stars. A new favorite series so far. Um, so excited that that was a viewer recommends book because like you were right. It was great. Absolutely love it. Can't wait to continue. Um, No Heart for a Thief. I'm really enjoying. It's sitting about probably like a four star. So... I'm only 42% of the way and I never read anymore, but I'm still really enjoying it. And then Jar of Hearts, I get it four stars, but I kind of feel like it's more of a 3.5 the longer I sit on it. Um, I feel like everything that the book was leading up to just happened so fast in like the last like 50 pages. And I just feel like it could have been expanded on more, even if you were to just add another 50 pages and like expand the events more I feel like it would have been a five-star read but um it's just that was probably that was probably the only thing that really bothered me about that um I loved both the center books I read um I think I gave the one five stars and I don't know if I gave the other one four stars you'll see here I'll put them up in order anyway and then obviously I'm reading captured by a center I'm only like 18% into that one I think or whatever still really enjoying it just haven't picked it up and that was all I had for this week really enjoyed everything I read for the most part and I can't wait for next week even though there are some pretty rough prompts and I'm not going to tell you what I'm reading uh like what I have as options for next week um because I'll let you guys know at the beginning of the next vlog so you'll have to tune in for that one um, I also, I have also been wanting to really get back into, um, trying to write. I have three books that I have ideas for. I have one, uh, that's like a fantasy with some romance, a fantasy romance, maybe, or it could be a dark romance. I'm not sure yet. And then I have another one that's like a paranormal mystery thriller romance, sort of. So, uh... I'm not sure and I've been trying to work on some flash fiction I have a bunch of stories that I did before and then I took like the longest break from writing like it's been like a year and a half and I have not visited any of these stories uh since probably early 2021 maybe I think so maybe it's almost been two years now but I would like to get back into that um my grandma's been really wanting to see what I've been writing and I just I don't want to let her down and it's one of those things like before my grandma is to go, you know, um, I wish, I hope that she's here, you know, knock on wood, that she is here for so much longer, but that is one of my goals in life is I would like to have a book written so that she could be able to read it because that's all she wants. She just wants to read something that I have written, so that's what I'm going to be working on, so I am not sure how much reading I'll be able to get done, so I guess we'll just play it as we go. But this was meant to be fun, and I'm going to try and do some multitasking, and hopefully I can get one of these stories up and moving again and go from there. But thank you for watching this vlog. I had a great time doing this. It kind of kept me accountable for the most part. I do find the closer I get to the weekend, the less I want to read. Even though you would think that I would want to read more, because uh, my nieces aren't here, and it's quieter, and I don't know, so... It is what it is. I, I guess whenever the mood hits me to read, then I just throw myself all into it. But when I get into these mood changes where I want to switch up what my hobby is for the day or week or whatever, then I focus all my energy on that one thing. So I guess we'll see what next week brings. And thank you for watching this video. I hope you had as much fun as I did uh, doing the prompts for the envelopes. Lots of fun. And yeah, so like this video if you liked it down below. Comment letting me know how the beginning of the month of June for your reading is going. And subscribe if you want to. I'd greatly appreciate it. It really helps out my channel. And I'm still hoping for that goal of 500 subscribers by the end of the year. So anything, any any subscribers will help. Um, thank you so much for watching my videos. And I guess until next time, I will see you guys again soon. Bye!